Hey, what's up, guys? This is Random Home Movies, and today I'm going to be starting a brand new segment called Quick Reviews. Now, this is where I'm going to review two good movies quickly and one bad movie quickly, and then maybe um, a video game, just because I want to also maybe like check out some video games. So I'm going to try to keep each review under 30 seconds. Um, I know it's going to be kind of hard because like there's a lot to review about a movie and a game. So, this is just my quick reviews. There's going to be no pictures here, just, like, a lot of really cool font, words. And the whole idea of this is just to be quick. And I'm probably going to do these, like, about once a week. So, here it goes. Uh, the first movie is Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince. I just saw it, and I really liked it. I give it a 6.5 because it's a really good story, really good characters, really good acting, uh, really good special effects, and, like, there's a lot of character development. The only problem is it leaves out a lot of stuff in the book, and it's, some parts seem kind of forced, and it's, like, slow-paced. Also, to me, it felt like the ending was, like, really rushed and really bad. So, I gave it a 6.5. The bad movie is um, Sharp Boy and Love Girl. Uh, I, my little sister was watching this today uh, two times on TV. She didn't watch it once. She watched it twice. And I really hated the movie. The reason why I hate it is because bad acting, bad special effects, um, really annoying characters, um, George Lopez sucks in this, and uh, another bad thing about this is the 3D glasses with the effects suck. So this is the third good movie. It just came out on DVD. It is Torchwood. I know not that many people have heard of Torchwood. It's a really good sci-fi series. It's They did a miniseries called Children of Earth. It's really kind of like serious and kind of sad, but it's really good, really good story. You don't need to watch the show to watch the miniseries, uh, Children of Earth. And I think there's like a lot of like other like extras in the DVD, and it's a really cool story to check out. Now the video game I'm going to be doing is uh, Tony Hawk's Project 8. I just got it at GameStop for like 10 bucks. And um, I'm, I'm not going to be like doing scores for video games. I'm just going to say buy it, rent it, or don't get it at all. Now, I think you should rent this game because it's, like, really good graphics. It's fun to play, but the career is really hard. It's going to really annoy you. <coughs> and you're just going to really piss to your TV like I have. But it's really fun to play. Also, there's not that much customization, customization as there was in the other games. Like, there's barely anything you can, like, give your skater or anything. But there's some good stats, and I think you should rent it. Um, so that's my quick reviews for today. I hope you enjoyed them, and um, have some next week. Bye.